welcome. Uh, today I'm joined by Louise Seller, Sales and Marketing Director of Drax. Um, hi Louise, uh, thanks for taking the time to join me today. Um, I hope you and your family are well. Um, firstly, how, how are things at the moment? Um, are you finding things are gradually getting back to, to some form of normality now? Well, hi Elliot and thanks for having me. Oh. Um, yeah, we finding, um, as a UK-based manufacturer, we're finding current demand for our products and services to be high. Um, however, like everyone, we are sh unsure as to how long that demand will be sustained. Um, we are, we feel we are still in a bit of an artificial environment coming out of lockdown and having mm. to adjust to a new normal yeah. and adapted working practices. Yeah. I mean, how, how do you see the situation um, with the housing market? Obviously, working closely with those guys. Um, and how are developers adapting to the current challenges? Yeah, well, um, we hear from our house building clients that sales inquiries are high and house prices are holding. I think um, government assistance with extra funding for social housing, um, the stamp duty holiday, help to buy being extended and the furlough scheme are all helping to support that. Um, however, with global lockdowns, we do know that supply chains are being stretched and availability of products and materials has been challenging across the industry. Yeah. Um, however, historically, construction industry in the UK has always been very adaptable and resilient. And I think with stock markets around the world crashing, we are seeing investment in areas such as BTR, built to rent, increasing in popularity. Okay, no, that's obviously so positive. Uh, positive stuff. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, with regards to that as well, how have you had to, to adapt in recent months? Um, what overall impact has, has COVID had on you as a, as a business? So COVID's had quite a profound effect on us as a business and how we work. Um, as an SME, we've had to review and adapt across all areas of our business, um, from social distancing practices and increased hygiene in our factory, to how we package, deliver and install our materials in a COVID secure way. Um, mm -hmm. We have also worked hard, as I think everybody has, to set up our staff so they can work from home happily, um, with more of us working remotely, we've devised efficient ways to communicate as a team. Um, and equally, we are working well with our customer base in the same way. Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, with you, with you working at home, you know, how, how have you found that? And has it, has it been challenging, as, as, especially sort of developing designs and ranges and working with clients? Um, you know, I mean, how, how have you had to adapt when working with them? Um, and has working more remotely had an, an impact on this as well? Yeah, well, um, you know, first and foremost, the health and safety of our staff and customers has kind of always been our number one focus, which is why those in our business that can are still working from home. Um, I think actually it's been a real, overall, a real eye-opening and positive experience um, for us as a business. Um, it means, for example, my team and I have more time to focus on our clients' requirements instead of traveling to and from appointments. Um, it means as a business, our far carbon footprint has been reduced um, and it's definitely made us reflect and actually invest um, in improving the digital way we communicate with our clients. Um, we're very lucky to have te with technology these days um, and have found that with the help of things like our in-house CAD design team um, and platforms such as Instagram, um, it's been very easy to help clients come up with designs and ranges through lockdown. Um, I personally do miss face-to-face -face contact we had with our yeah. clients pre-COVID. Um, however, I think the human element of having a shared common experience of something like lockdown in some of our existing relationships and really helped cement some solid foundations with new clients, um, even with some of the technological challenges as we <laughs> today with internet connections. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, as you know as well, obviously we launched the, the new egg decorative collection um, back in February now, um, with obviously you know, our most comprehensive collection to date. I mean, how, how have you found working with, with that specifically, um, you know, with the new collection? Um, and what has been the reaction from, from designers? Yeah, so um, overall, the response to the new collection has been extremely positive. Um, we can never quite predict how change will be received. Um, but the feedback that I've had myself and I know my team have had um, is that the overwhelming majority of the changes have been for the better. Um, I also personally feel that the improvements to the existing boards in your collection and the introdu introduction of some of the new finishes and textures are fantastic for our product ranges. 
Yeah, oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, it's good. Good to hear. <laughs> um, I mean, as well as having the the usual tools, you know, such as the the new global swatch, um, as we've just discussed in terms of um, in light of recent challenges, um, we've also had, had the new app, um, which has been created to, to make the collection more accessible. Of course, um, the features such as the two D and three D visualization, the decor scan downloads, and you know, obviously there's the virtual design studio on there. And of course, the, the sample and ordering service, you know, which is all available to download from from Google Play and, and the App Store, etc. Um, I mean, have, have you had the opportunity to, to use this yourself? And if so, how has it helped you um, in the, the working environment? So um, obviously, I've had the pleasure of hosting several sort of virtual showcases and road shows with yourself. Um, and these were extremely useful tools um, and a wonderful platform to be able to bring the collection to our clients. Um, we know that on the back of that and everything else that you promoted, that the clients are now using features such as your 3D visualize, visualizer, um, which has been great for us in the current climate um, when clients are trying to select their finishes remotely. Um, we also know that our clients are now using your online sample ordering system, which again has been a great tool for us to be able to offer to our client base. Um, and we no, use that too, personally. So <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Oh, that, well, that's brilliant. Um, so again, you know, thanks for your time um, today, Louise. Much appreciated and, and great to get your views on the impact of the current situation. Um, you know, and I guess the, the positive um, sort of um, outcomes of that and the way that you've have had to adapt during that, that time as a business. I mean, um, to finalise, I guess, how do you think the, the virus will impact the day to day in, in the longer term? Um, and what positives do you take from this? Yeah, I think we'll be in this new normal for some time. And obviously the future is quite uncertain for us all. Um, however, you know, I like to think that it's shown how resilient, caring and adaptable we can all be. And yeah. I hope those lessons will continue long into the future. Yeah, yeah. OK. Um, and, and one last question um, from me. Um, what's the main thing that you've had um, that you've taken from all of this? Um, and what's the one thing that you'd say has changed, changed for the better? Well, we adopted a quote um, during lockdown by Charles Darwin, which goes like this. Um, it's not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. So, you know, we use that during lockdown to keep us all going. And I think moving forward, I think we've got a real opportunity, you know, to work together, maybe a little bit smarter, maybe a little bit greener. And I think as long as we continue to be responsive to change, hopefully a really positive and productive future too. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Always like to end on a positive note. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. No, well, that's great. Well, thanks again for your time. Um, Pleasure. Really appreciate it and uh, look forward to, to seeing you again soon. Yeah, me too. Take care. Thanks, Louise. Thanks. Bye-bye.